the LG was going to win no matter what. Okay, that's, that's, that's fair. Where that's I was fair. feeling. Uh -huh. are, are you agreeing? Do you think that Liquid pulled something together here? Coming into it, of course. I think most people are just like, wow, LG are tearing it up right now. Obviously, he's been very iconic in the pro scene for a long time. Has not been around much lately, though. You True. know, we've moved on to these uh, these Razors and Mars heroes over the past year, and, and Ty kind of got left behind. He's a little sluggish in the off lane, right? He's a pretty big behemoth dude. He doesn't get around very much. And uh, at, the, at the very least, we'll have the, the Kraken at some point to work within this lane, theoretically. I mean, Boxy just still continuing to, to harass and push up there with that Blight sound. So good early on the Hoodwink. And uh, just a, a great last pick. They had a couple options, right? They could have done the offlaner hero. They could have gone for something like a Rubik, too. It's a great Rubik game overall. But they wanted this pressure in the lane. They, they want to really take this and snowball into something. Ooh, up top, up top. Like, and on the Ame. Like, oh very good. God. So the way Zion Boxy are playing this, too, where they have the, the angle of the slow of the hammer to ensure that it doesn't break the tree that you're using for the bushwhack because that's yeah. a common problem with this duo they're killing it they're, they're getting everything they need to and like you know why wow, you had access to that camp but it, it's only the ensnare creep you're not really doing that much besides trying to get the harassment out and Zai playing Dawnbreaker with already the soul ring done they have constant spam TA uh, this is going to be tough for Ame He's, he goes in with the melt strike I mean any time this wave is away from, from Ame's tower, it's death sentence, potentially. It's even tough for Y to get out right now and try and find a, uh, a creep, right? Yeah. Like, as this Ench is safe and bullied out, especially since Pocket's lost a lot of damage in the past few years in terms of the laning stage, so you can just get away with this and even get a couple kills with the root now, with it being earlier. Faith Beyond. Trying to stand tall here. The Boundless Strike does not connect onto Zin Q. And in fact, with the turnaround cookie, that will be enough to stop Mickey from going for that much more. And actually, goes back into the kill. Grave at level three already out. Faith Beyond. Zai. Diving tower. Uh, yeah, up top, they do find another kill on that edge. And well, in the meantime, Insania going to try and keep the pressure onto Faith Beyond. Can he get another touch? He will. But did not get the reapplies. The Kraken show was there regardless. So Liquid forcing back again down bottom. And I mean, look at the ceiling. <laughs> Shift kicks. It's not even yeah, Boots of Travel. He's all psyched up. He's like, yeah. Oh, I'm going to get bots in my puck. It's going to be awesome. And Yules. Yeah. Like, oh, man. He knows what he needs to do. Boxy, fun game. in the meantime, doesn't even need the scurry, but he got the really cool sharpshooter to get away there from the Tidehunter. It's pretty nice. And that is the Blink Dagger there as well for Fifth Beyond. So man, they're well aware of that. If you find the first stun, it's going to turn into something really bad afterwards. Smoke up now with three. Matumba Man finishing Desa. You got to imagine if they can win a fight here into Roche or taking one of those tier two towers. And for now, they find one. This is the Diffusal Blade reveal, and there's just no answer. No. I think it's so good at just like instantly shutting down those fights too, right? Oh. That, that... Yeah, he's got the moment. He's got the moment. Can they jump? Do they want to? Mickey pops the PKP though, catches all the rest of them. Still hanging on to that Ravage that for sick. now. As Zai in trouble will get killed. Ravage comes afterwards oh. only for the dazzle. I Was anticipate have a couple seconds left on BKB and there it is. Cookie afterwards. Stun on the two. Solar Guardian, the chase and the kill. Zing Q in some trouble. Trouble will get brought down. So Liquid know this is coming. And Zai there to break it right to start. Nice. Pops PKB. So unbelievably ready for that one. Now going through the Ame, but look at the damage out onto him. Nothing to say. And the Ravage comes out afterwards. Is it going to be enough? They take down two. Insane already dead, but Tumbo Man's in trouble. Oh, Mickey, he needs to do this one pretty much all on his own. He turns one onto another. They find the Hoodwink stun. LGD, do they have enough? Mickey living through it. The Yule Sucker lift up to break the lifesteal. And now the turn, the kill. LGD, how do they keep doing it? Oh, just so well done in this. Oh, man. Going it there. They drop down Vision. They see Insania right at the start. Gonna jump onto him. Sword Guardian afterwards. It is not enough. The coil is there also on the top of it. Boxy trying to interrupt this, but the Ravage is out. The damage is done. Liquid, you're in trouble. Mickey, he drops the ulti, but I don't know if it's gonna be able to keep him in there. LGD just walks away. He's forced to TP out. He gets broken. Doesn't manage to escape. Oh, it all fell apart so quickly. It was looking so good. No, that's that's not cool. I want the consumables. Man, but look at that. Win probability, 81%. You look at how high it was. I think it was that far up for Liquid. Five towers and it just didn't matter. But Radiance top they're not top willing to give up without attack. a fight. And they are wrapping right now. This is a Radiance good angle. They find Ame right at the start, able to get that stun. Do they have enough to bring down Ame Bash? 
caught. Is it going to be enough for the kill? And miss on the sharpshooter, but still, they take okay. down the Aegis. How isolated, though, is he on the re-up? He's got to be careful. They do have Faith Beyond coming in from the side. They're trying to zone him out with Matumbo Man, but PKB ravages out. Will they be able to keep him alive? It doesn't look like it. It was a big attempt for a save from LGD, but it's not good enough. Can they find more? Why? Trying to run away. The Orchid is there. On the other angle, they catch and kill the Snapfire. So LGD losing three in the last couple of minutes. Oh, on. And they got him too. Do they have enough afterwards? Zai chasing. It's getting a little bit back and forth here. As Y is also being chased down. They're just running around the whole map. They will get the slow down there, but the coil comes out. Now the boundless strike trying to run in after him. Can't quite connect to the Enchantress who being wrapped on. They smoke themselves, walk up, the couple man. Front and center, Ravage down, round one, BKB out, Faithy on pops of pressure, gets a second one. Is it gonna be enough though? No, the save, it's not there. Matumbo Man dead, 80 Ame. seconds, but they find Ame. This is pretty good, Mickey connection killed, and no buyback on Ame. Mickey, oh, able to get out of the tree right before things went south. There is gonna be a coil, leashed up, turns to try and survive through this, but the grave is there, the heal is there, and nothing to say, he's gone. Double for Zai. They keep finding more. And Liquid, this is the fight that they needed. Uh, well, whether you're getting hunted or not, you can always buy back on Dazzle. So it's saying he gets back in for the save. Oh, and they find now onto Y. Cookie comes out, but it won't be enough to save that inch. And three dead. They do tick into buyback now on Ame. Oh, look at that Roach timer. Though. Oh my god. <laughs> Two minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, I think it's me time. That's right. Woo! Jumps. Him. Stun combo, but they interrupt the Ravage, the Force Death, the Cookie, everything for Ame. And now look at him, they're all lined up together. Ame down on the low ground, the Cookies come through. It's terrible for Liquid. Mickey in trouble. He's going to fall. Sai also starting to drop all the save in the world, and it was everything they needed. Five for nothing. LGD are just. Uh... They, 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 have, they saw this coming yesterday. They, they knew this wraparound was coming from a while ago. Nothing to say. Can they catch him? Hunting. Hoping to find him. They got so much vision up here. Look at these traps. What is this? They're, they, they've just... They're ready. And now Creepwave coming into the base. LGD, they're ready to walk forward. Nature's attendance. And then run in. Dude, they know exactly where they are. Oh, LGD, LGD, they were prepared a good bushwhack, but the chase is there. Run forward, stun out, refresher. There's the Ravage onto both. And with that, Matumbo Man going to drop. Mickey, can he salvage this? Goes for a couple more punches onto Zing Q, the disarm, the chase. Good damage onto him. But TA just clapping away. And with that, it's going to be GG LGD. Persevere. Hurting and giving over a lot of the thirst stacks. Why? In trouble, pulled down low, and going to get dropped. That does mean he's going to get his items finally. As Toxie is uh, going to be in some trouble. And nothing to say. Back towards mid. Chase forward, Insania there. Looking for a finish. Can they do it? He has Ghost Shroud as well as Fairy Fire. Holding on to that for the moment. Down low, but not dead. No. I think nothing. No, he doesn't pop no, Fairy Fire. He's level three. I mean, on the Oracle, I don't know if you've got a chance to. You know, that's, that's a big damage. And I guess, I mean, he had very tough this game. So he continues trying to bully Ame in this lane. Uh, you know, not the, the biggest in power heroes. You can do some sort of cheeky stuff with Tiny, and uh, and Bud's here, of course, is going to run around and just, and just punch people, but n none of our, our classics, you know, our Jugs. No. Our... Oh, look at that. Boxy gets punished. A little fissure action. Able to interrupt and rebound off cool or was on cooldown it looks like so no escape uh, for the Marcy but yeah top lane definitely the one that uh, is looking pretty good so far for LGD as down bottom Ursa also um, a little bit behind in terms of CS on the mag although now with Chen options versus the link Double. Uh, live is Zinq secures that DD rune versus Boxy quick enough Insania, stunned for the moment, oh. turned upon, and killed. And, I mean, that those kills, pretty important, because as you said, he's having a pretty good game. It's here. Oh, here we go, Zai. Wanted it. He wanted that RP. 
And now Creeps on top of Insania. Boxy in the area as well, but still, Creeps survive. They go on in. They take down the tower. Dispose afterwards. Pulls in. Doesn't want to pop the RP. Zai still looking for that perfect one. He might get nothing. Oh, there's an echo here, too. Nothing to say. He's good. They run in with the Razor. Oh, Liquid. They were wanting it all. And they're not going to get anything after it. Just As Zai gets chased, Zing Q in the area. Does he have Fissure back up again in a sec? Four, three, two. Oh. Just drops the echo. Why not? A second round of oh, all the region they get toss. Dispose went a little bit the wrong way, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Have a toss, and with Insania having the damage, Liquid, they make it work. It's really important to have a high damage support and the Oracle for this play to work, too, right? Because you're sacrificing that toss to the Ava. Yeah. So, and for the Dispose, even with the bad angle, still able to get that kill just shows how, how much strength there is and why they're able to run. Nothing to say, and the wraparound from Zinq Q gets an angle. Fisher onto both of them. Toss Again, back. looking for the toss back with the rupture play. Catch oh, and it already on the side. Is it going to be enough? Doing a ton of pure damage. It ran out, though. It's not good enough. RP, silence, all in the Necro, and they get him. Yeah, he's still firing up back. I mean, again, we talked about this a lot yesterday, but this idea of just like the repositioning, of course, has always been so strong in Dota. And now to have it again, just like rupture into Tosti. Just mm, blood in the water here. As he, oh, the tomato. Will it be your death? Yeah, they got um, Y. They got interceptions. All right. Maybe, though. Skewer back. They find nothing to say. That ward, man. That ward is it's so much good. Work. Trying to chase. There is the rupture. He wants to stand still. Mickey has to be careful. They have the false promise. Finally going to get used. The toss with the rupture. Almost enough damage. Okay. And they do get him. Now they got to kite the Ursa. And they're doing it quite well. Must be said. Zai going to go for the skewer out. Makes his little self a little bit of a separation. And Boxy, the only one that falls from Liquid. All right, things got a little messy there. So I had to wait for some of the allies to catch up, but in the end, still going to be... Uh, he's looking juicy. Yeah, this should be at least at one hesitation. kill. They're just like, ah, I don't know. All the birds. Ah, he's back. Yeah, they got him. Bird number two. Wait, bird two? Oh, whoa. Okay. That would have been cool. All right. Well, I mean, that's a win. Yeah, You had course. two hurricanes. They have to Dyer's RP you with Chen. That's like, pretty wild. He should be all chatting. I know. <laughs> all this for me. The last game is just the, the speed which they clear waves and the difficulty set. Like, look at that. Like, he has to reveal himself pretty hard on Ame. Dispose. Richard interrupts. Ame caught. They still have that echo ready. Boxy going to be saved. False promise, TP out. Will he be able to survive through it now? They still got the break. And now finding the Oracle, that's a good one to catch. Nothing to say, standing still in the rupture. Can they keep this chase going? On LGD, it doesn't look like they're going to, but a good win there, taking out time. Mickey wants to run in. It's getting down low, Avalanche toss, jumps in for Boxy, the BKB. Faith Beyond caught him, and Insania, he's in no man's land. He's gonna have to ulti himself, just ends up dying. Bot does not have buyback there in the pit. Skewer out, RP afterwards, where's the follow-up? No, but the tree toss, the volley wasn't onto the right targets. Matumba Man, I don't know if they have enough to take down the Ursa here. Feature on the other side, Zing Q, full control, and Mickey going to drop. Oh, but Tumba you. Man, he's he up. wants to play cleanup, but I don't know if it's going to be good enough. Running away, but you're not fast enough from the bank. Got the damage. True. Zai on a ward right now. On a ward. Oh, no. And they find him. The mag. False promise, though. And then the skewer into the base. The RP afterwards. Rupture on top. Toss away. Dead one time. He's a genius. That was what they needed. They lose Boxy, but you find that kill on the bear. You take it every day of the week. Yeah, it's funny because that is the difference, right? When you don't have those uh, position heroes. Because, like, he's jumping and trying to punish this mag, and everyone's like coming, like, yeah, all right, let's, let's just kill him, guys. But then he just skewers you into the base. Yeah. Just can't get the full chain stuff long. Echo onto one, but the Fate Edict answer. It was too quick. This is why they have this world oh, take, but Big A, he's in trouble. Can't get a toss back. Can't can't see it, but Yeah, the, there was pain. I think Zion did too. Uh, but the toss, okay, get a little bit of a recompense here. ZQ pulled around, Hand of God, got to run. They don't have the RP. LGD, they know, they saw it. The chase down and in trouble. Leaper sight used even. I don't know if he had the fate used on at that point. As the Ava toss Mickey, he dies. They, they broke up the fight. Zai actually chased forward to push the remaining rupture that was left on Zin Q. So they helped get them at this point as well for that Chen. Right? He's got the quick hang charm on there too. So oh, yeah. it's only 100 seconds. Couple fissures. Pull back one. Is it going to be good enough though? Not quite. Echo out. 
Zing Q finds his moment, gets the Oracle, and as Ame travels into the base, Matumbo Man dead. There are no buybacks on any of these heroes. Tier 4 towers are going to fall, and LGD, they're going to close this one out 2-0. Still yet to lose a